folks. Today we're going to take a look at the 2019 Little Guy Mini Max. Before we get started, I want to let you know if you want to subscribe to our channel, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime we put out new walkthrough videos. Now let's get started. Uh, this Mini Max, it's a big hit because it's under 2,000 pounds dry weight. The gross weight's only 2,900. Six foot tall on the interior, eight foot six overall height. It's only about uh, 17 feet long. So you've got a really small footprint, six foot nine inches wide. Let's see what the interior looks like because now that you know that your vehicle most likely will tow this, that's what you wanna hear about, right? Come on in. The first thing that you'll notice when you step inside is how spacious it feels. They have the kitchen in the front you notice this white solid surface countertop, very smooth, very classy looking, makes it feel very open. You've got the dual paned Lexan window on the front. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with how these windows work, let's start there. They just unhook right here. And then they open up for fresh air. And they have a, a catch right there that you can turn that holds it wherever you want it to go. If you'd like a little privacy, you can pull up from the bottom. And if you'd like a little ventilation, you pull down from the top. So it can go either way. Or you can just leave it open to the air. So it gives this a real open feel. You've got these same dual pane windows in the back as well. It's a real complement to the block foam insulation that you have in these aluminum framed walls. The, the sides, the front, the back, and the one-piece fiberglass roof are all aluminum framed. So let's get back to the kitchen. You've got an eight inch deep sink here. It lets you put things deep in the sink, a pull-out sprayer. You can change the spray to be either a spray or a regular faucet. I love the residential feel of that. And then you have a two burner stove with the glass top. Now these glass tops are so nice because this really is a countertop when you're not cooking on it. When you open up the top, you've got two burners and there is a sparker in here so you don't need to go find a match or one of your log lighters. All right, I, the other thing that I really like about this layout is you've got a little space back here so it can easily have a basket, some food, some of the things you wanna grab quickly but let's take a look at the storage. Up here at the top, you've got two cubbies. There's always something that needs to fit in there. And then a shelf at the top. Your LED lighting has an on off switch right on top of it. And your front speakers are also in the kitchen area. So underneath, now you've got the sink in front of this. So this is just a tip out drawer. It's got a little spot here for sponges, and then it's got some extra room for anything you'd like to put back behind there. Maybe some of the things that you do your cleaning with. The drawer here has the silverware cutouts for it. Always a nice feature. You'll see the same feature in the full-size Max. Underneath, you've got two shelves, a nice cabinet area. This shelf is adjustable, so you can make it taller or lower or take it out completely depending on what kind of storage you need there. You notice there's a 110 plug right here on the front. Your microwave is a, the stainless steel in the cabinet and then another small pull-out drawer underneath it. So you've got pretty good storage in the kitchen Good counter space, even though this trailer is only six foot nine inches wide. All right, let's look at some of the other features. As you start to move back, you've got, of course, your bathroom on the left. Let's see if we can get some shots in there. You've got a shower head that adjusts in height, so you can make it higher or lower. A porcelain toilet. Nice stainless steel features and an LED light on the top. It is a combination toilet shower, but really for these small trailers, it's quite spacious. Okay, AC up at the top. This has a roof mount AC. 
this is going to cool this trailer like nobody's business, even in the Texas heat. So uh, you've got uh, vents that can blow out the back and blow out the front. And then you've got adjustable on the side, so you can cool this down very, very quickly. All right. Heading back, I, I love the look of this two-door refrigerator. Solid black. Let's take a peek on the inside. A couple of uh, cabinets on the door. Pull-out tray on the inside here. So uh, it can hold a fair amount of food for you. And then the pull-out freezer underneath. It's got some dividers in it that you can use. Very much like a conventional one that you see at your house. Another storage cubby underneath. Let's see if we can get a look at that and see how big it is. There you go. Gives you a little more space to put some of those things that maybe you don't need uh, all the time. And on the other side, we have a pantry or a wardrobe, either way. Another cabinet here. Again, you've got adjustable shelves. These are solid hardwood cabinets, dovetail corners on all the drawers. So really well built. And I love that they're adjustable because somehow whatever I've got to put in a cabinet never fits whatever space we have. Underneath that, you have a, another solid surface piece for a countertop and the Furion radio stereo system behind it with another 110 plug. Great if you're sitting out here and needed to plug in your laptop or anything else that you're working with. Let's get uh, past this and take a look at the seating back here. This makes a 70 by 76 inch bed. Now a normal queen size bed is only 60 inches wide and it's 80 inches long. So it is a few inches shorter than a standard queen but it's about 10 inches wider. So you've got an awful lot of, of uh, sleeping space here. They have kind of a unique bed system and uh, we'll show you some different pictures of how that works. But if you look underneath, let's take a look at how this table moves up and down. You have two clamps here that clamp in and that, oh, I can't get it at this angle. That holds it tight right there. So that puts some pressure on it and holds your table tight. If you would like to spin it or raise or lower it, you simply undo that clamp. So this is for the top piece, that's for the bottom. And you can actually push this all the way down. That's the first one. There's the second one. So if we were to hold this down and clamp it down so it stays in the low position, then you pull this drawer out and that pulls out your bed slats. So turning this into a bed is so simple. And we'll show you some pictures of that as well. But then you just, when you're done, you just push this back in and it's out of your way. The table comes back up. And when it gets to your desired height, that's all the way up, by the way. Then you just go under here, push these clamps and it's tight. You can spin it. You may want to spin the tabletop. You may want it at a little bit of an angle because you're working from the corner. And once you uh, clamp this bottom piece down, it stays exactly where you put it. So you've got all kinds of options with this table. So simple to use. Let's move around here and take a look at the, uh, the uh, controls that are on that wall. Now you see you've got the Jensen TV and it's going to be a 12 volt television. So it's pulling off your battery. It is not needing to be plugged in to work. So if you pull off to the side of the road and you want to watch a movie, you can do that. You don't have to plug in at the campground. And above that, you'll see a solar charge controller. This, uh, ha this trailer has an option for a 100 watt flexible solar panel on the roof. So because this one has it, the controller is there and what a solar panel is going to do for you is keep your battery charged. I get a lot of questions of people saying, what will it run? It really won't run anything. It will just keep your battery charged. So whatever your battery can run will be able to work without running your battery down too low and stopping your lights or your TV or your refrigerator or water heater, whatever it is that you're running. So solar panels are really nice to have. 
It is an option on this unit. And to the right, you'll see the air conditioner heating controls. Again, it's a touch screen. So you just uh, turn it on, get it to the mode that you want to, it to be on, just like a home thermostat. And then you have the up and down buttons on the right. And above that is the uh, smoke detector. That's going to run on uh, AA batteries that you put inside it, just like some that you might use at your house. So you'll always want to test that to be sure it's good. I love the little cubbies. They have cutouts on the side above the windows. And they've got them on both sides, along with the LED reading lights. There is no shortage of light in this camper. It's extremely bright. And what I find when I go camping is that I don't want all the lights on most of the time. So I like to have certain lights in certain areas. So having directed light right there, you might want to turn everything else off, have a nice kind of quiet camper, but still be able to read your book or work on your computer. This big view window in the back, such a great feature because that's what gives the back of this camper the open feel. This opens up just like the other window that I opened in the front. Undo this and it pops open. Very simple. I'm going to see if I can give it a push and tighten that down. And I feel like I'm almost sitting outside with this window open going out the back. And then you have, of course, two on each one on each side two other windows for cross ventilation, get the breeze flowing through. Uh, these are a vinyl covered uh, uh, cushion. They call it a leatherette. It's very soft, very comfortable. Uh, I love the fact that they're so cleanable. They have a clean, fresh look. Uh, these cabinets are the lighter wood. There is an option for a darker wood if you wanted a walnut interior. Uh, it, this, this is if you don't specify, this is mostly what you'll see out there only because it lightens up the camper. But there is that option for the darker wood if you'd like to have that as well. Let's look underneath the table just a little bit and just talk about what's here. I'm going to see if the camera can get under there and, and just take a look. You've got your venting here and that's going to be your furnace. But over here you've got a charging port another 110 plug, and then you've got two USBs. Again, there's always a phone to be charged or a laptop that you might want to run. Everything is accessible right down here. And this other piece next to it is going to be your LP and carbon monoxide detector. So the reason that they keep that close to the floor, of course, is because LP is heavier than air, drops down, and it will keep you safe uh, from any contaminants that might get inside the camper. So let's take a look. There's one more cabinet. Oh, before we do that, this is your breakers and fuses over here. You'll find this converter with the breakers and fuses in the front in every camper. This is no different. Everything's going to be labeled for you. Let's look at this storage down here. So you've got a little bit of space right here and they didn't want to waste anything. So there you go. Now there is another storage piece that I forgot and it's underneath there as you walk out. We'll show you a shot of that, a still photo of it. So you'll be sure not to miss that. Uh, let's take a look right at the door of the controls. Fantastic fan's gonna be right above your roof here. It's nice to have it here in case you're cooking. It can actually pull a lot of the steam or anything like that out of the camper. You do have a big front window, of course, but sometimes the air is not moving. So that can create some moving air in here. Your controls right here at the door. You have an LP and an electric water heater. So you have the option of either one. All right, this is gonna be your water pump, your interior lighting, there will always be a light switch to turn the light on inside the camper so that you don't have to walk into a black camper and be looking for light switches. So this is your uh, immediate overhead light. 
And then these two will be for the porch light and the lighted handle that's at the door. The one piece that I was going to say we'd show you later, there's a little, another little flat drawer that is hidden under here. Very difficult to see, but it's there, and I forgot to show you that earlier. And I believe we looked in this one, didn't we? Can look again. You do have a, a cabinet just as you walk in the door there. This is probably where I would put all of my outside things that I, I would want easily accessible without coming in and digging for them. So, last but not least, You've got the wonderful screen right here at the door. So you could actually put this screen on every open window. And when you do that, it really feels like a garden room here. It's just lovely. So six foot tall right in the middle. I get it. I'm short. But uh, in, if you're over six feet, you're going to have to tip your head just a bit. But it feels so spacious, you might not mind. Let's take a look around the outside now. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the outside of this 2019 Little Guy Mini Max. Uh, there's only four options that you can add to this trailer, and I can show them to you as we go around the outside. Uh, let's start right here. Again, the LED portion of this camper is carried on to the outside with LED lighting. I love the LEDs in this handle. Uh, it's a nice feature at night when you're uh, getting in and out of your trailer. You do have an LED porch light up there. The outside speakers are always nice right here. And if you want to take the TV from the bedroom area and slide it right into this slot, you can have your TV out here as well. What you're looking at here is going to be your cable hookup for your television. And then this is going to be the electrical part of it. Plugs and the two USBs. Now remember I told you that this trailer is eight foot six inches tall. One of the options you can add is the Rough Rider package. Uh, it normally comes with 15 inch tires, but this is the 15 inch off-road tire uh, with the aluminum wheel. It also has a two and a half inch lift on it. So that eight foot six inches goes up to eight foot eight and a half, of course. So it's a little bit taller with the off-road, gives you a little more clearance. I love the way this aluminum step just folds right up it's so easy to do and so lightweight. Just folds in out of your way. So you've got a lot of clearance if you want to take it somewhere that's maybe not paved. Moving on to the back, this is going to be the outlet for your furnace. Underneath that, you'll notice there's a little propane connection. This is going to have a quick connect fixture on it where you can plug in a, a gas appliance here. Most people plug in a grill. You'll want to be sure you get a grill that's made to work with the RV regulators and not just any old grill, but it's wonderful to have a grill out here um, because this unit has a key to rail on both sides where you can actually put a visor, an awning, or even a screen room out here if you would like. So there's lots of outdoor options and uh, that gives you a nice living outdoor space and a place to put your grill right outside of it. Let's take a look in here, the compartment. You'll notice that the magnetic latches and the baggage door catches. So inside here, you've got a nice big space for all your outdoor gear. And when you close the compartment, it's got a baggage door lock. So it's a slam latch, real nice to use. You don't have those little clippies up here. It's all magnetic, so it just stays open and out of your way. There is a... Uh, a crank inside for your four stabilizer jacks because this camper is going to have a stabilizer jack on all four corners. Makes it very uh, stable when you're in it. Now remember that those are not for leveling, but they are to just make sure that it sits very solid when you're in there and it doesn't jiggle when you roll over in bed at night. Coming around the back, I like to remind people that this is a one piece gel coat fiberglass, starts on the bottom, goes all the way around to the front. So you don't have any roof seams. It is all a solid fiberglass exterior. Don't you love the big window? You've also got a receiver tube on the back so that you could add 
a tray back here and keep other gear. You could add a bike rack in the back. Now this has a steel tube chassis. Again, aluminum framing in the sides and in the roof. LED lighting in the back. Gives it a really nice look. Let's come around to this side. So before we come around and look at this side of the camper, I want to mention that right up here on the roof is that flexible solar panel that we talked about inside. It's a 100 watt solar panel. It's molded to the roof. And it's going to actually charge that battery whenever your trailer is in the sun. That is one of the options that you can get with this camper. The other thing that you can't see up there is going to be the camera. Right above that window, if you can see it, we'll get a better shot for you if you can't. Um, it is pre-wired with a backup camera, so you can add that backup camera if you'd like so that you can see what's behind you. And then you just have a monitor that plugs in into your vehicle. And uh, as you're driving down the road, you can see the traffic behind you as you're driving. Very useful, very popular option. So keep in mind the four options are going to be the off-road package, the camera, the solar, and then the bike rack on the front that we'll talk about in just a minute. So this is going to be your outside shower. Water heater is going to be right here. Remember your water heater is electric and gas. Very nice feature. And in this compartment you have uh, two inputs. One is going to be if you want to hook up to the hydrant directly and one is going to be if you want to fill your tank. Your tank is going to be a 20 gallon fresh tank. You've got a 12 gallon gray tank and a 9 gallon black tank. So you've got plenty of tank space. Underneath here, that's where your cable TV will hook up. If you're at a park that has cable, just hook it up right here. You're good to go. Furion makes a very nice cord that disconnects on the outside of the camper. There's a collar that goes around to tighten it to the camper so it can't come loose. And then on the top, You've also got a light that tells you that your camper actually has power. It's very handy when you're hooking up late at night. You want to be sure everything's hooked up well. You've got the sticker here reminding that you do have solar on the roof. Every camper comes pre-wired, but it is an option to add that solar panel. This is going to be the venting for that nice refrigerator we looked at inside. And coming forward, your sewer hose connections are going to be right underneath here. You notice there's a gray handle for the gray tank, black handle for the black tank, and I always remind people it's very easy to tell if you can't actually see that late at night. The smaller tube is going to be the gray tank. The larger tube is always going to be the black tank in case there's any solids that need to come through. Here's your front jack that we talked about. It's a manual crank. It is not difficult at all. Keeps your tra trailer very stable by having one on every corner. And as you're coming around the front, right here you've got a place to hold your sewer, to uh, uh, sewer hose. A tube that's mounted underneath, keeps it out of the way. And in this compartment up front, you've got the propane and the battery tank. You'll notice on this side over here, you've got a, a battery disconnect so that if your camper is in storage and you want to be sure that your battery doesn't run down, you just turn that a quarter turn, completely disconnect your battery so that none of those little LED lights or, or um, the displays inside are going to run that battery down. The fourth option that we're going to talk about is the jacket bike rack. Goes right up here, it actually mounts in conjunction with your jack and your bikes mount above it. It's very cool. It makes it so easy to carry bikes. The only thing I like to mention is that you might want to add an electric jack when you add the bike rack. Uh, your dealer would need to do that for you. But then this crank doesn't get in the way of your bicycles and the mounting. But works really great. You can add it right here and then you could use that hitch on the back with a tray for any other gear that you'd like to carry. So let's come around to this side. The last thing I want to show you, I don't think we talked about, is that you have a friction door. You notice you don't have any holdbacks here. The door's going to stay exactly where you put it. And so in the wind, it's just going to hang wherever you need it to be. Nice solid camper. 
If you are looking for a camper that's 2,000 pounds or less, this might be the one for you. So if you have some questions, anything that I didn't cover here or that you'd like to know a little more about, call us here at Princess Craft RV. We will be glad to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. <music>